to mid-April through mid-May love readings. My love readings run from the middle of the month to the middle of the next month because we have these videos here, the career and money readings, as well as your general readings already. And so this kind of keeps you on track as the month goes on. This is for your moon sign. And I know you're like, why? Why not my Venus? Why not my sun? This video right here is gonna tell you exactly why that is. Just trust me, it's gonna resonate more. Um, you'll know why if you watch that video or you know, just trust me, whatever. This month, I'm gonna use a couple different decks and my awesome assistant might kind of edit into the video here what that will, what they look like, okay? And then in the description box below, if you're wondering what that is, there's links there. Um, and if you click on the link and you wanna buy one, I, I'm not selling them, but it's their affiliate links, which is great for me because I have to make money, you know, as well. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, what else? Let's just get started, I guess, then. Um, so the way these love readings work is we're going to look at predictions for singles, couples, and then for those in it's complicated situations. So you might be polyamorous, you might be in an on again, off again relationship. Maybe you're just talking to each other, but you haven't really met yet because of coronavirus. And so you're wondering what that's gonna be like later, you know, when you can see each other, whatever. Um, I'm gonna break it into those three categories and we're gonna look at what the general vibe is this month, what you, um, really want, or at least what you think you want, then what do you actually need? What's going to be the best thing to happen in your love life this month? And then what's the biggest challenge going to be? And then kind of just overall general advice. So let's get started. We're going to start with singles, then move on to couples, and then do, um, for those of you in complicated situations, whether that means you're polyamorous, on again, off again, you're just talking, but it's not committed. Um, we're gonna do those last because sometimes pieces of the single and pieces of the couples will resonate for its complicated situation. So it's not that I love you less, but that's the reason why I do that last. Virgo moons that are single. What's the love vibe this month? Um, there's something that you can't let go of and that is inhibiting you from finding success in your love life. Okay. So that could be somebody from the past. It could be a mindset. It, we could get more in depth probably in a personal reading because if it was more specific for the majority of Virgo moon signs, they would have just said it, right? And they didn't. So um, whatever it is when I said, hey, there's something you can't let go of, therefore you're having a hard time being successful in your love life, finding the right match, you know, keeping relationships, having good communication, whatever it is that is inhibiting your success, um, in the search or, you know, in having things go the way you want them to in relationships, whatever you felt in your gut, that's what you want to trust and go with. Okay. So, um, what is it that you think you actually want in relationships, um, to not let go. Okay. But you have to release things in order to control them, in order to control the outcome that you want. You think you wanna hold on to something because maybe it helped you or maybe, you know, let's say for example, you're a widow. If I don't let go of my partner who died, well then I'm not honoring them anymore. But if they truly loved you in return, they would want you to move on and be happy, right? And so it's a fallacy. It's something we tell ourselves. So it could be a combination of something or someone we're not letting go of, a dream or something, and a mindset, both combined. Um, but like I said, that would be more clear in a personal reading. So um, what is it that you actually need? And they're saying you need to feel the pain. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Holding on, okay, and I know you're single, so a lot of you listening to this portion aren't still in a relationship trying to force it to work or whatever, um, but you might be stuffing things and not releasing it in order to not feel it, right? Um, and you kind of have to feel it and go through it to come out the other side of it. You know, they say go through instead of over or around. And, and that's how you do it fully. It's like you have to validate the feelings and the emotions that are there 
in order for them to be set free and released because they're like locked in a little uh, prison in your subconscious here. And they say, and you don't want to do this. You haven't maybe even thought of doing it. But until you do that, new quality love can't come in because you can't give to a relationship fully what you know the right person would deserve what you would want from a partner you're not able to give that even if you think you are okay and this is the reason why and so it might even make the quality of people that you meet not so good or maybe you meet quality potential future partners but they're just not into you because they're picking up on that subconscious vibe even if you're doing a good job of suppressing and hiding it okay um so what is going to be the best thing that will happen in your love life this month? And they're like, well, the fact that you don't have to put in much effort. And for those of you who during you know quarantine or whatever aren't even dating, well, I mean, that just means that you have more for yourself, more time, more energy, more love to give to you. Um, but most of you are kind of just sitting here, not moving on, even though a deeper intuitive part of you knows that it's important. Um, so what's going to be the biggest challenge here for you? Um, to understand that you are the best thing to ever happy, happen to yourself. Go easy on your ass, buy yourself a damn drink. So I guess in this case, make yourself one. That's what the card says. Um, but what they're also saying here is like, this is how we fully and truly love ourselves and honor ourselves by working through our own shit right like if we love our baby our human infant we don't let them just sit in their shit and like put another diaper on top of the old one so it doesn't stink anymore like we eliminate it we clear it and then we put a fresh one and the same thing here in relationships okay so um it's very straightforward cut and dry as far as advice goes they just threw a couple things out as other challenges for you, okay? Hold on. Now, they throw these in a slightly challenging position. When cards come up like this, it's a challenge, at least the way I read. When they come up at an angle, it's a slight challenge. So it's less of a challenge than what I had just mentioned. But they say the slight challenge is then healing once you're able to do that um, and, and kind of feeling alone, okay? There are people and resources around you that want to help you, but maybe you don't notice it or you don't take advantage, you don't want to. You just kind of, you know, go it on your own. But maybe if you were to talk like very openly and vulnerably with a friend or um, a therapist, your tarot reader, you know, whatever, it would be easier to heal and very beneficial for you. You get something out of it instead of just silently suffering and trying to navigate it um, by yourself, because obviously that's not working. This is why you have this giant need to let go in order to heal, okay? So the advice that they will give you now is to see things from a different perspective because it's actually better for you. It's sturdier for you. They're saying you're not, you're, you're kind of weak, you know, until you do that. And so, you know, we might feel weak when we open up and we're vulnerable, but actually it's the opposite. It takes a lot of courage to do that and it makes you stronger and it makes you, you know, a stronger, more admired example for other people also. So these are things to think about, okay? Um, now, for those of you who are Virgos and you are coupled, um, what's the overall vibe for you this month? And they're like, balance like and then they're just like enthusiasm excitement in your relationship like having a good balance at home and with your partner um so good news for you uh what is it that you think you want and they say maybe a little bit of alone time which you could manifest that you know and that alone time is functional though it's to work on achieving whatever it is in your life that you would like to. So you might wanna check out this reading here or this one right here, you know, um, about career and money and then um, just generally what's happening. And then also in the description box below, if you're not sure what you want or, you know, what your purpose is, what your passion is, there are some free 
worksheets um, and resources on my website in the freebie section. There's a link below. And they're not that kind of thing. You know how it's like, oh, get my free awesome training video and whatever. And then you have to put in your email and bullshit like that. It's not like that. You just go and get it because um, that's gross. Anyway, um, so, so that's kind of what's up. That's what you think you want, you know, taking the time to you like, you know, in this quarantine and even if you're working, it's just like this vibe from the second half of April into the first half of May of really trying to figure out what do I do next? What do I want next? And figuring out how to achieve it. So, um, you know, they're saying you want to find the courage and inner strength to face your fears with confidence. So maybe you've wanted to launch your own side hustle for a long time. And then now it's like, okay, I'm going to build up the courage. I'm working on that. Things are really good in my relationship. So now I have extra space where I can go and do that. Um, so, you know, I feel like having a partner who is particularly um, supportive would be great, so hopefully most of you do, um, because I know you're like, this reading is about love, so why the fuck is she talking about this other stuff? Because it, your relationship is setting you up this month in order to be able to do that, okay? Now, for a very small amount of you, and maximally 10%, this month um, is going to be like, I wanna find the courage to tell my partner something, positive or negative, to propose, for example, to um, maybe tell them that I cheated or something like that. But for the rest of you, it's going to be more along the lines of what I mentioned, okay? So what is it that you actually need this month? Um, and they say to ask an expert. You can't figure everything out on your own. The card says don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. And even if, Virgos are very meticulous with details. Um, like, you know, so you could go and find whatever information you need in your life. You know, surrounding your relationship, surrounding that side hustle I mentioned some of you might be chasing, surrounding how to create, you know, the perfect feng shui for your sex life in your bedroom or whatever. You, you're capable, okay, but it takes more time. So it's more time researching, less time doing. And so that's kind of what they say here, ask a professional, okay? And so if you are in one of the, if you're one of those people in that 10% that's gonna propose, and you're like, hmm, you know, I need to learn about diamonds or sapphires or whatever stone you're gonna choose, right? Precious metals for the band or, um, ask a professional instead of trying to do all this online research because it's just quicker, more efficient, and it's better for you, okay? Um, so anyway, for the rest of you, the biggest challenge and how that applies to your relationship, um, needing to do research and ask a professional about things, is that there's something that you don't see and you don't notice, okay? There's something going on here um, that makes it challenging for you to fully connect and um, deeply and intimately with your partner. It's just like it doesn't occur to you. And so if you were to get the opinion of like, for example, um, a psychic, a tarot reader, a therapist, um, a relationship coach or counselor, something like that, you'd be able to have that blind spot kind of put in front of you, which would create a deeper, more loving, emotional connectedness and intimacy, but it could also move to the bedroom as well, okay? So um, that's kind of cool. It's good to know. Um, what will be the best thing to happen in your love life this month for couples? And they're saying, you kind of have an idea of what this is, despite what other people might be telling you. Um, you feel it in your gut, like kind of what's coming. Um, for a small percentage of you, maybe 4%, um, and that would be people who don't really wanna be in their relationship, um, what's gonna happen is you know, divorce, actually. So, I mean, good for you if that's what you're wanting. Um, but for the rest of you, what else might be happening? Like, what is the best other thing that is happening? And they're saying, well, um, that some of the daily choices in your relationship are taken away. 
um, like taken off your plate. And it brings us back to the beginning where they talked about relationships being super balanced and just going smoothly and going good. It's like either your partner takes on more responsibility or you just get into a better flow and routine. Um, so um, the general advice for coupled Virgos is um, for those, they say for those of you who are not hoping for that divorce, who are not leaving your relationship, that you're satisfied and it just gets better this month, they're saying don't give so much to your family and then don't worry about it because they're there to pick up the slack. Whether your family is you and your partner and your dog or just you and your partner or you and your partner and you know anywhere from one to seven or 12 children, you just not giving so much of yourself, allowing other people to show you love by taking on some responsibility and creating more balance and harmony, okay? Now for those in it's complicated situations, what is the overall vibe for you this month in your love life? And they're saying, it's not a hell no, but it's a kind of no. You know, the vibe is whatever is going on, like, mm, I don't really know about that unfortunately. Um, so what is it that you think you want this month in relationships? And it's very similar to the couples here, okay? So um, you might want to go back and listen to see what kind of peaks your ears there because that's your intuition telling you that that message is for you. But couraging to find inner strength to face fear with confidence. And now, so for a lot of you, this is maybe considering routines or, um, you know, communication issues in your life, in your complicated situation. And coming to the point where it's like, the things that I'm like, I don't really know about, finding the courage to admit that, to have those tough conversations so that you can get more of what you want from life and then end your relationship, in your relationship or not relationship, your complicated situation, advocating for your own needs so that you can be happy, okay? So what is it that you actually need? And they're saying to just say very calmly and patiently, but also with a lot of, with like very strongly asserting your boundaries and being stern. So you're not being a bitch, but you're like, here is the deal and it is what it is. And I know what I know and I feel how I feel. So don't try to convince me otherwise, okay? But this is a conversation that we're having and we need to have and here's how things are gonna be if this is gonna work for me, okay? Because otherwise it's not. And, you know, here are my limits. These are the things I'm not going to do. I don't want to do. So we're not going to do them that way. These are the things I'm not comfortable with. And, and having that in a very calm and patient, but very um, firm way, like really kind of planting your feet in the sand and saying, I'm, this is how, this is where I stand. Okay. Um, so not easy looking to find the courage to do it, but I think there is a reward for doing it. Okay. Because People can't read your mind and you're not going to feel comfortable um, if you don't do that. You know, the only person that's going to advocate for what's inside of you is you. Okay, so um, what will be the best thing that will happen in your love life this month? And um, they say, ask an expert. So for each of you, it might be a little bit different. You might want to ask your favorite tarot reader. Readings are only $10, okay? Link in in the description box. Um, I mean, more in-depth readings or more, more than that, but, you know, the short and to the point ones by text message or email it, within 24 hours, I mean, amazing. So, um, what your advice is overall is that it's not time to make big moves, okay? Um, it's not time for big drastic changes, but to start these conversations that are hard, that are scary for you, um, just at least have those and take a stance. So that is your love life reading and I will see you next month.